And I mean, I think if we think about industries, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to figure out if this, you know, kind of what what dimension this question's on. Um, but I'll just kind of start maybe on 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 which industries maybe are leveraging uh, data centric security the most right now. Um, and those are really they, they break down really into two key categories. One is manufacturing and the other is finance. Um, and obviously, you know, manufacturing is very IP driven. Um, and they have many suppliers on that side. And then finance, obviously very compliance driven as well. So if I you know, kind of go back to my slide here a second ago, you can see you know, American Express, Applied Materials, uh, Ford, Flex, there's a couple of others out here that are you know, really focused on, on those things. And so when you think about um, you know, these supply chains, again, it's like, hey, I need to be able to share this information but an NDA alone isn't going to do anything. It's just a piece of paper. That doesn't mean it's going to be, you know, uh, kept kept secret. It could be, you know, ended up in the hands of my my competitor, and now they have all of my IP and all of my intellectual or all my intellectual property, which is really the key value that I'm delivering overall. Or even even if it's a manufacturing process, as an example, specifically in the semiconductor industry, that's one that we have a a large foothold because there's this just massive ecosystem that goes into producing a chip. And so what about the equipment that goes into building that chip? Um, that's a whole other supply chain in itself. And so we have a lot of organizations that leverage us for that. Um, on the compliance side of things in, in, the, um, in the finance space, it's really to make sure that the right people are getting the right documents and proving that they truly are using those documents as intended. Um, especially when it comes to PII or sending out customer statements or some of these other things, right? So, um, and and that's where um, uh, the finance industry really uses us uh, uses us a lot from a, a compliance perspective. And you know, we have uh, operations around the world. So, you know, whether it's in the in the United States or in the Middle East or in, in India, as an example, there's a lot of new regulations that seem to pop up all the time. And so being able to provide that granular level of access and logging really helps them, um, you know, meet those, uh, those new needs and demands of, of, uh, of some of these, uh, uh, some of these regulations.